welcome. This is Mike Austin, Director of Strategic Partnerships at Cisco. I'm here with Brian Tannis, Senior Technology Specialist at Citrix. And today, Brian, uh, here at DevNet, we're going to be talking about the power of our partnership. We've got a really robust portfolio that we've been combining in different aspects with really innovative solutions. But tell us a bit today about what specific product we're going to be addressing here in DevNet. Thank you, Mike. So today, we're going to talk about Citrix NetScaler. NetScaler rocks. It really does. So what is NetScaler? NetScaler is an application delivery controller. It's an appliance or a virtual machine that's able to sit in front of your back-end services, websites, um, VDIs, who knows what. It doesn't really matter. We support tons and tons of back-end uh, infrastructure. And NetScaler is able to do lots of things for that. It's able to intelligently load balance them. It's able to do things like um, our application firewall. So it's able to have an intelligent layer seven application firewall sitting in front of your web servers. And it's able to inspect and actually see what's happening um, on the application level, for example. There's a lot of different things that NetScaler does, but let's get into what NetScaler is and what hardware appliances that we have. So to begin with, in 2007, we started with our NetScaler MPX. NetScaler MPX is a hardware appliance NetScaler, and it's ran on Intel uh, x86 code for the longest time. It's where we started out with. NetScaler is a software solution, but we're using hardware in the MPX to be able to have the performance um, that you, know, you actually would need for certain applications and whatnot. We then moved uh, in 2009, moved along the stack, and we took the code base that we had on our hardware appliance and translated it into our virtual NetScaler. And that's called the NetScaler VPX. So the NetScaler VPX is an appliance that runs on any hypervisor. It works on VMware ESXi, it works on uh, Hyper-V, it works on Citrix Zen server, and it'll also work in an OpenStack environment as well, uh, if that's what you're looking for, if that's what you're working with. From that, we transitioned and we took what we learned from the VPX and applied it to that hardware that we had already. So being Citrix, we have Zen server, and we took that and put it onto an appliance and we called it the NetScaler SDX. And this is our multi-tenant environment. So we're able to run multiple virtual NetScalers on a hardware appliance to get the best of both worlds, really. In 2016, so this year, um, we just rolled out a new, uh, a new platform for NetScaler, the NetScaler CPX. CPX is a NetScaler that runs in a Docker environment. So it's a containerized NetScaler. And it's you know where all the application momentum is moving towards. Um, developers are working with Docker. They're working with containers. They're working with microservices and micro segmentation. And the NetScaler CPX is a way for them to intelligently load balance and handle the traffic, handle the communication, and handle just everything that's happening with these microservices and micro segmentation um, applications in that Docker environment. So it's it's pretty interesting technology, really. It's really robust, right? Highly flexible, any environment, any workloads. Are there specific common problems that we're seeing customers taking NetScaler uh, advantages to and use cases that you think uh, are important to call out? Yeah, of course. So one of the big applications or one of the main focuses um, with NetScaler and being Citrix, we have NetScaler being able to sit in front of ZenApp and Zen Desktop workloads. So ZenApp and Zen Desktop is our Citrix's VDI, so our virtual desktop environment. We're also able to handle virtual application delivery to the end users. NetScaler is what sits in front of that. It allows users to access that application remotely in a secure secure fashion. NetScaler is really the gateway. It handles everything for um, you know, what happens in those types of workloads, but it also, happen, or it also handles what happens in other types of workloads. So web servers, you know, we're able to secure them with our application firewall. We're able to load balance them. We're able to do um, redirection and content switching to be able to choose which server gets where. We focus on 
database uh, data stream technology. So we're able to handle uh, and interpret and understand databases and what's happening there and direct traffic uh, to you know whichever way we need to go. So there are quite a few different use cases. NetScaler is the deliverer of our network um, applications, our network services, really. It handles all of that for us. So, you know, since we launched Cisco ACI, right, Citrix has been with us from day one. And with the Netscaler Nitro API, you know, how are we using that? You know, why the, 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 the Nitro is the focal point? Right. So, we talked about our hardware appliances and how we have that NES architecture. So if you're wanting to use a Netscaler in any type of environment, you could do that, the virtual or a physical appliance or even in a Docker container. Because we're using that single code base, that software x86 type platform, we are able to plug in our Nitro API. So this is the Netscaler API. It's the language that Netscaler talks in. And this API is able to communicate with any Netscaler, and it's able to perform a lot of different things. We could handle configuration, so we could push configuration to the Netscaler, and we could get configuration. We could do statistics as well, and analytics. So we could understand what's happening under the hood of that Netscaler, and you know, actually see what's happening, and you know, detect issues, and detect problems, and detect things you know, as they go. Speaking of the integration with Cisco ACI, that all happens with that Nitro API, but we use something called the device package. So on here we've got Cisco APIC, so this is the application, um, th this is the controller for the ACI environment, and we plug in a device package into APIC. We've done this since Cisco ACI 1.0, since the beginning, since we started. And this device package communicates with Netscaler using that Nitro API. And that device package is the most robust device package in the industry. We support every function and every feature that Netscaler has, and we're able to configure Netscaler the way that Cisco intended it to be whenever you know, layer four through seven services came out in Cisco ACI. So with that, we're able to fully support a fully managed mode Netscaler in Cisco ACI using our robust device package, but since we're all about NES and having that way, you know, you, you could configure and handle the Netscaler the way that you want to, the way that you're actually wanting to use it, we do a few different ways as well. So we have that managed way with our device package, but we also have a way to support Netscaler and ACI in an unmanaged mode. So ACI could have Netscaler, an idea of what it is, and just handle the plugging of Netscaler into the applications and into the tenants that it needs to. And you could configure the Netscaler yourself using our Nitro API. We've got plenty of SDKs for that. If you want to program in Java or Python or Perl, we all have that there. You could roll your own using our REST APIs. If you don't want to do that, maybe you want to do a hybrid type of mode. We've got something called Netscaler Management and Analytics Platform, and that's Netscaler Moss. That is a way that we're able to configure Netscaler um, using things called Stylebooks. So we're able to automate that in a different way. And Netscaler Moss will have a uh, a small, tiny micro device package to plug into Cisco ACI um, and handle that plugging in an automated fashion. And we'll use our style books or a way to configure Netscaler in an automated fashion using Netscaler Moss. So, you know, just that anyness, we're able to support a few different, you know, methods and a few different ways you could handle the configuration the way that you would like. So Brian, you talked about simplification and robust services. Are there common services that you see Netscaler providing uh, because of that robust pack? Yeah, of course. So because we have that robust package in you know, the managed, fully managed mode of ACI, we're able to support any type of applications in that backend, right? So any applications running on Cisco ACI with Netscaler, we're able to do. So we talked about the virtual uh, VDI environment, so Zen Desktop and Zen App. We have a fully supported um, 
deployment guide and demos and everything showcasing Netscaler running on ACI, on a UCS hardware, just everything, the whole entire solution, all running on ACI with Citrix Netscaler. Um, and you know, because of that device package, that enables us to do that. Great, so I know for you, this is your first time in DevNet. Can you talk a little bit about your experience and maybe any guidance you'd have for somebody and how to take best advantage of DevNet? Oh, of course. So this year, DevNet has been awesome. And I mean, yeah, so this year, DevNet has been the most awesome solution. I, I really, really love it. The whole entire Cisco Live conference I've spent in DevNet. I've walked around the booths. I've walked around the learning labs. I've walked around everything. And I've seen you know everything that we have. And I've just been taking it all in. I'm you know so excited you know about orchestration and automation and OpenStack and open source and containers and everything and it's all being discussed here at DevNet and there's tons of learning labs a very hands-on person and just getting you know behind the keyboard and figuring out hey this is how that's done that's really what plays to my heart and that's that's what I love about DevNet so where can people go to get more information yeah, so to get more information, um, you could go to HTTPS, www.citrix.com slash Netscaler slash Cisco. And that'll take you to our Netscaler and Cisco landing page, and you'll be able to get tons and tons of more information. Thanks, Brian.